Hello all and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 Alter, uh, World War 1 Alternative Mod. So me and Mazza are doing a PvP round, um, which you guys probably already know. And in the last episode he made Russia capitulate and they are all part of the Central Powers. So this is Mazza's coalition. He has a huge Central Powers. Um, and here's me and pretty much just the UK. Um, everything has gone up to a hundred percent world tension. Um, we've actually also added Australia or was it? Yeah, we added Australia, British Raj. Um, so yeah, we are outnumbered by a lot. Um, so hopefully we can turn the tides of war. Um, so we're going to get started here. All right, here we go. So um, right now he only has one place to go, and that's towards me. Um, I made a huge mistake not going fascist, and he's just adding people because I can't really add anybody. I'm not the um, leader of the faction. I joined a faction, um, and I'm hoping the British start adding people um, which doesn't seem like they are hopefully we'll get the United States but he just added Albania he's probably in, gonna end up going for um, the Turkish Empire as well um, so what we're gonna do actually is um, we're gonna try to see if anybody if we can get Spain if we could have got Spain and Italy together I think we would have been pretty good um, but we didn't and we can't one of the things we are focusing on though is we're trying to get these artillery pieces to our frontline troops um, we didn't add any artillery to our, our lines at the beginning just so we can push out the 115 120 um, 140 divisions I think um, to be ready for this war that's gonna be fought um, also we have we're making some reserve units and it's using up pretty much the we're gonna make 10 units of reserve um, if he does put Spain on his side this this, this reserve unit is gonna go and uh, help fight the Spanish so um, we do have an idea what we are gonna do is we're going to um, One of the following must be true. Wow. So, yeah, that sucks. I don't know why. All of the, one of all of all of the following must be true. One of the following must be true. Oh yeah, we really messed up we can't even go down our lines um, when I was gonna go fascist I should have just clicked the damn button because now we have a little bit of an issue um, yeah that's not good who would go democracy if if that's the case that kinda sucks um, maybe I don't, I'm not seeing something, but, uh, hmm, that's not good. Alright, so, we're going to switch gears just a tad bit, and since we can't really make any more men, we are going to focus on building up forts across the, our front. Keep the Germans out and wait for the the US of A to kinda come and help us if that's even possible so we're gonna make it all the way down to Switzerland and the reason we're gonna make it just to Switzerland is because if he gets Switzerland on his side he can't break through but if he gets the Italians on his side we have mountaineers that could possibly stop them um, so we're gonna build those forts all the way down to Switzerland 
all the way around it just to make sure I think that's about it we'll just do that for um, so we're gonna build up these forts doesn't look like nothing that's gonna happen the British have 182,000 um, units I mean this is just crazy like I mean, I guess I could wait for this one. All adults serve, which could give me a huge boost. But I mean, for them to pretty much limit you when you play as one of these countries is just not, not a good thing. Um, so yeah, we are going to go and try to, I guess, get a nuke. All right, so we have our reserves in um, with most of them. We're gonna just put them right there, um, just so we can see what's gonna happen with them. Um, we don't really know. Um, yeah, we're not gonna be building any more, you guys. It's just it's gonna go to one. So yeah, once they're done, they're done. We need these units. So it's only 23,000. We gotta get to 450 to get that 20% boost in our um, in our manpower. All right, so we just added new weapons. Um, with these new weapons, we're actually gonna just add that because this is gonna, even though we don't have the basic weapons yet, this is gonna help um, um, give us those weapons over time. So look, we have 150,000 units we need to give these to but we're still getting these artillery pieces in once these artillery pieces are all finished and everything is good to go we are going to um, switch these up all right so construction is doing good um, it ultimately we can't beat the Germans by ourselves that's just not gonna happen I mean they have what they have almost, they have a couple, they got a lot of divisions on our lines. Let's just put it to you like that. Um, we're still training, still trying to get better. Um, but one thing that they're not doing is they're not attacking no one. They're waiting for the Russians to build up their divisions. That's what they're waiting for. Um, so we're not going to give them much more time. We are actually going to justify our war um, so we're gonna justify it once we get to 450 actually or 400 because I think that would give us just enough time well let me see um, let's see how long will this take 125 days uh, yeah this will give us just enough time to get that 20% boost in those factories and everything so manpower won't be an issue. Um, we're not going to have our forts up in time but we can't wait much longer just because of the simple fact that uh, if the Russians rebuild that army uh, yeah it's not going to be a good thing. And as you can see we are already highly um, outnumbered on our front so this is going to be a defensive war um, a defensive battle um, he has all the all the upper hand playing as Germany I mean he has close to probably anywhere from 3,000 military output I mean look at his division count I mean his division count is insane um, just because he's playing with the Germans and we can't comp we can't contend with that if I went fascist things would be a lot different which I messed up on but we're gonna fight this war and you know see what happens so we're gonna keep going uh, we can't do that right now so um, I don't want to give him a lot more time because he is going to literally smash the living hell out of us if we keep giving him time um, one thing we are gonna do is we're gonna do that and we're gonna cut all these down because it looks like they're done 
So we're going to try to give our our new army all the good stuff. And we're just going to keep these these um, producing just because when we switch again to our higher artillery pieces, they have something to work on. Just like that. We want their efficiency to be at the max. And we also start gonna start needing some support equipment. Oh, we have a little freeze. Okay, there we go. That's not an issue. Okay, we have a little freeze here. Um, one thing that we did mess up on as well is we got rid of one of our um, gun producing situations. So we still need them to give us some more. There we go. Oh, we still need six more. Holy crap. So we got new guns coming in and that has, I think, tipped the balance just a tad bit. Maybe, maybe not. Um, the fact that they might be exercising could be the other thing. So yeah, now we're at 434. We're going to go ahead and uh, hopefully with their, we're going to go ahead and put a claim on them and pray for the best. So that puts us at 400. We need 400 and 50 once the war starts. And we got to pray that he has um, seventy five percent to make all adults serve. It's all in war, guys. And remember, like I said, we can't we cannot attack them. There's no chance that we're gonna break through those lines. Um he ha he's probably doubled his fortress forts up there. And as you can see the Austrians are starting to come in as well. Um I wish I would have kind of played with the UK so I could start trying to get the whole world against them. But Hey, this is what we're with, you guys. It may <laughs> this might not this might not last long, but I mean it's worth a try, you know. Come on, I mean, guys, can you add? He's like he's just not gonna. He's just not going to chance attacking anybody else, so we cannot add them. So, hey. Well, what can you do? Alright, so we're going to get our 450. We're just going to hold off. We're not going to get anything else for right now. And like I said, he's playing as a German, so he's going to have a ton more stuff going on. I mean, he's fully almost teched out military staff, everything. Um, you know, it's one of those situations where you can't. I mean, we started with a pretty bad setup at the beginning, but with our new guns coming in, our heavy focus on infantry, um, our setup with uh, the support equipment, um, I'm hoping this can kind of push the tides to our favor, which we'll have to see. So let's check to see how long we got till the war begins. July 1st. <clears throat> so on July 1st, 1919, we're going to say 1919 because we don't really know, um, the war will begin. So we're all going to make last minute provisions, last minute checks. Um, I got 115 divisions. He has 125 plus 78, I think. So he has way more soldiers on the front. He has close to 100 up here. Um, he, he has a good amount of soldiers up to the top. We're going to focus, like I said, heavy on infantry, mass assault kind of deal. 
and then what we're going to do um, we're going to keep producing guns at the highest rate that we can once all these guns get to the front line we're also going to possibly um, we're going to add these divisions actually just to be on the safe side there we go so we're going to add those 10 divisions to the front so we have 125 divisions fighting against the Germans hopefully with the British <laughs> which I don't see happening you guys I'm sorry but um, hopefully with the British we can do something hopefully the British adds other people um, they're the ones that are in charge of the faction maybe I can't I mean there's no point in leaving the faction because if I do I'll be fighting them by myself if I had went fascist it would be France, Spain, Italy, um, possibly the Turkish Empire. Um, I could have had on my side. And even though those odds aren't great, it would have been decent. So I don't think he's exercising. So right now, man to man, I think we have the edge going by this. The plan isn't smart, but I definitely think we have the edge right now. So I don't know, he's crossing our fingers, right? So even though we can't can we can't compete at all with him and his fighters, we're gonna still try to um, put fighters up in the air and try to do something with it. Um, and we're just going to focus on building this infantry even more to the best of our ability. Okay. Alright, so let's work on reinforcement right? Because we're going to need those reinforcements, right? And we're going to add those to the guns because we need those guns. Alright. them for a little bit more give us a surplus got better field hospitals that just came in and we're actually gonna keep just going down the line I know it says 562 days so let's go for this so 125 divisions um, even with it saying our our attack You know, the fortifications are the biggest thing. So maybe our attack, if we can get through Brussels, but he has a huge army up there. I'm a little nervous that he's gonna be able to push through there very, quite quickly. But I'm hoping our stronger, <laughs> well, I'm hoping our men are able to hold. I'm hoping the British are able to get over here um, and help us out. They may just not do nothing, which it seems like they're just sitting on their island with 73 divisions. And I wonder what America has. Yeah, I mean, if the Americans came over and actually helped, we would be good to go. Let me see, is there anything I could do to persuade them? Can they go there? Ah, oh, sucks. Okay. Alright. So, pretty soon this war is going to start. As soon as that thing kicks off, we're starting, you guys. There's no point in holding, there's no point in waiting. Um. It says July 1st, so we got one month left. All preparations are made. Um, we have enough to boost our, our military up as high as possible. Um, there's, we're gonna still go for military factories because we need to get those guns out. Um, we got supplies coming in, the guns are coming in. Everything's trying its best to get to our frontline troops. 
I'm hoping the infantry equipment kind of gives us the edge on them because right now they're a little thin on those lines and we're gonna hit first and the reason for it is because we might we're gonna be able to test their um, test their lines I don't know what he has in store for me he's He's a very good player, like I told you guys many times before. Um, yeah. So let's see if we can get our birds up. Couple more fighters. All right, guys. So starts the war. So let's see how our pushes are going. Alright, so like I said, right now our men are superior. Like I thought. But we're not just gonna waste men on a helpless attack. We're gonna go and make sure we hit the right areas. Our men are kinda superior, not really. Or it just might be what I'm seeing. So we're not going to do anything. We're going to wait for the British. Just going to hold our lines back just like that. And let them try to hit us. The Americans want to send one division. Oh my God. Thank the Lord. Thank you guys so much. You guys are really helping with that one, huh? Alright, so I don't know why we're still even doing this. We can't really get anywhere else. Let's do that. And we're going to get our planes up. Because, as you can see, they're probably just tearing us a new one. Right, planes up, planes up. Air superiority is our biggest thing. Um, so... Let's see, are all these planes up? Yep, they're all up. Hopefully the British are doing something. Everything's contested. They're trying to hit us hard up here. So let's go ahead and take half these divisions. And put them over here. Alright, where are the British? Are you coming? What the hell? Look at this! I mean, it's... <laughs> uh, stupid. Yeah, guys, it's not looking good for us. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How did he get up there? Ah, I love this. This is great, isn't it? Alright, there we go. Six million troops. We can hold for a little while. 
But as you can see, he's really putting a heavy influence on trying to push me back over here. Which most likely he's going to be able to. None of the allies are going to join. They're just all watching. <laughs> Even though world tension's high as hell. They're just <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. I mean, none of you guys are going to join? I think on our next Let's Play, he cannot play as the Germans. pretty much nothing we can do so what we're gonna do is add these guys over and we're gonna push all our divisions on the front line before he cuts us off Even with all that, the, that we can't defeat the Germans by our damn self. It's just not going to happen. But we're going to give them a hell of a fight, I can tell you that. We're going to try to hold back here. We're just going to bring up division after division, you guys. might be the fall of France, but it's not going to go too quietly. And they are smashing us. They can't break through our lines right there, so there's still not much we could do without allies. I mean, our allies are just literally sitting there watching. Oh my god, they are smashing us. Come on, get up to the front line. Alright, so one thing that we have to do is make sure that they can't cut us off. We're going to try to kind of get in here. But they're right outside Paris. So one thing that we need to do is we need to cut our division parts in half, right? So what we need to do is make, come on, come on, come on. Make one line here. And that's what we're going to send the majority of our divisions to. And then, no, don't leave, don't leave. This line here, I'm going to give you to this guy. Hopefully this works in time. And they're going to hold this shit right here. There we go. So we have 99 units up north. Everything's being redesigned redone um, we're getting smashed man hopefully we can get to here it's called wishful thinking guys we're gonna push our ass off to get there if he cuts us off here it's a wrap
That's our whole army in there. Okay, we were able to get back that. <laughs> oh, man. Holy crap. This is not looking good. <laughs> this is not good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, we're trying to push. They're kicking our ass. These guys are going into the damn sea like a bunch of fucking idiots. Get on the front damn line. We're about to capitulate. We done been cut off. All these divisions are gonna die. Possibly we can get to Calais in time. I doubt it. So all these divisions don't die a horrible death. Capitulation is 50% there. We're losing men like no other. We're trying to push all over the damn place. <sighs> this is not looking good. He's even telling me to add the UK, but the UK won't join the fight. They're not doing anything. Look at this. Hey, can you save us from the German French? Maybe, just maybe? Nope. Don't feel like it, huh? Just too much work, huh? Yeah, he cannot play with the Germans, man. That's just a stupid. There we go. We might be able to cut them off right there in Calais. I'm going to try to cut those stupid tanks off to get on my last nerves. So we have a good percentage of our men that's going to push and try to get these guys cut off somehow. And then we're going to take this group and we're going to push hard against this. Or, let's push hard against this. Maybe we'd be able to break through there. But I mean, if this war is over. Right now we're just trying to save face, trying to kill as many as we can of them. I mean, we're getting annihilated, guys. Can't beat Panzers. Don't have no damn allies. The allies aren't doing jack. They help us out. They're just watching. He's surrounding the hell out of us. trying to push through to certain places. Can't push through. He's got us. I mean, we can't defeat the whole damn German Central Powers. But we're going to fight and keep on fighting and fight till we capitulate. At least I could say, you know, of course. Just take everything from us. Stupid. Alright, so there goes pretty much our whole entire army. Um, this is at least 60, 70 divisions that have been totally cut off, and they're just going to finish them off. Yeah, so made a huge mistake by joining the um, Commonwealth Powers, because apparently... Allegiances don't mean jack shit in this game. I mean, they're just sitting over there drinking damn tea while we're getting our asses handed to us. And yeah, we're gonna 
probably gonna surrender in this episode because we cannot do nothing not a zero zilch we can't even afford to pay attention that's how bad this butt whooping is yep 70 down to 73 divisions um, let's see if we can do anything in Africa can we like let's see if we can invade them come on let's go get them man totally wiped out no chance tanks they they got us with Air Force. Our Air Force is totally wiped out. They're shooting us down left and right. We're being pushed back. We've lost Paris. Um, we lost over probably, I want to say, 60 divisions. Oh, we're about to lose. What, 40 divisions right here. And there's no way they're getting out of that. They're surrounded by the enemy. Maybe if we had went fascist, you guys, we could have done a little bit better. But um, I really don't think so. He's really good with Germany. He's always been good with Germany. Um, if he doesn't play with Germany, I think I have a better shot. But he's a really good player, actually. So we're just going to keep fighting to the end of this war. It was a PvP match, so I'm going to let him claim, claim his so-called victory. I think it would have been a little bit different if I went fascist. Um... Like I said before, could have uh, done a lot of b things differently. Um, could have possibly um, been able to defend myself. But, I mean, the UK is just sitting back and having coffee. They're not doing jack. I just can't believe they just let letting this happen. Um, speed it up to four. Speed up to four. Don't worry about it. Just speed up to four. Let's end this episode. Alright. So, we're almost about to capitulate. The street, This will end once we capitulate because we have no shot in hell. All our divisions are gone. Um, at least we killed 140,000 Germans to their, our 1.6 they killed. Oh, look at this. Italy sending two divisions. Have at it, Haas. Come join the good fight. Alright. There we go. Alright. So, we have lost the big war. Uh, Mazza is victorious. He, always, he, can only, he loves playing with Germans. He needs to start playing with other people. Um, they. I feel like Germany is a little OP. I might sound a little sour, but I do. Um, so after this, we might decide to do another PvP, or we might do uh, another HOI4, or we might end up doing EU4 as well. Um, I thought I might be able to hold my defenses. Um, but he, he, like I told you, he got heavy, he stacked heavily in Belgium and, uh, couldn't really do much about it. Um, so yeah, thanks for tuning in and we'll see you guys in our next Hearts of Iron 4, EU4 or Stellar's gameplay. Thanks.